Hey, this is Frank from Frank and Tina, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to bond a swimming pool. Um, this is a gunite pool, so we're gunite means you know the concrete. So uh, we're going to uh, uh, our plaster pool. So I'm going to be talking to you today about how to bond a gunite pool. What you need to know about it. Okay, what you need to start out with is this is number eight, eight gauge bare copper wire. Now, what's what you want to start out with? Uh, you want to run from your equipment. Where's your equipment going to sit? Let's look around the pool. See all these pipes right here? That's the equipment set. So, that's where your equipment will go. You want to keep about probably 10 foot out here behind the equipment. And you want to go and you want to bury it underground until you get to the pool deck. And then you're going to be wanting it to be uh, all the way wrapping around the pool deck and then join together with a split bolt. I'll show you in a split a second what a split bolt is. So when we pull this around, what we're going to do is we're going to run the ring right around through here I'm going to show you in just a second when we do it and you see that's the water's edge from the water's edge to the ground wire has to be a minimum of 18 inches a maximum of 24 inches away so that's going to leave you a six inch place to where you can run that wire all the way across here all the way around the pool and you're going to want to attach as many of these things as you can. These are the rebars coming out the side. If you can't find them, you're gonna to have to dig for them. They're all in the side of your pool. But you're gonna to have to dig for them if you can't find them. And or if the, you know, if it hasn't been shot created yet, you can uh, go ahead and see where they're at and attach them pretty simply. So you're gonna to wanna to attach these pieces of rebar like that right there with an acorn clamp. I'll show you what an acorn clamp is in just a second. And, you know, you bring it right along around through here. And you attach to as many places as you can. We usually attach from anywhere from six to 10 maybe 15 spots, depending on the size of the, pool, size of the pool. Uh, attach through there. And uh, then each one of these have a light niche in it. And we've already, there's the light niche. See the light niche there for that one? We've already attached the ground wire to the back of that light niche. There's a place to attach it to. So we got it coming up right there to that ground wire. And we're gonna be taking a split bolt and attaching that to our ring that goes around. You also want to, this particular pool has absolutely zero handrails. There's zero metal within six foot of the edge of it. So if you've got a fence within six foot, this metal, it's gotta be bonded. Uh, I usually go 10 foot, 12 foot. Anything within 10 or 12 foot of it's what I usually bond. But the code's a minimal standard. You can do what you want. I think six foot is what the code says. But anyway, uh, you have to have everything bonded. If you've got any handrails coming on in here, they've got to be bonded. Any metal, any metal ladders, metal slides, anything like that, it is going to have to be bonded. Anything metal within, I use, I would say, a minimum of ten feet. I mean, that's what I would do personally. Um, but anyway, you need to bond it. And the reason being is you don't want anybody to get shocked no matter what. And uh, we're going to put the, there we're gonna take that wire, that piece of copper wire there. I don't know if you can see that. That's running to the other light niche. And it's important on this right here. We have bonded these two light niches. Let me show you this one. We have bonded them. And why does that matter? because this is metal and it's in the water. So it has to be bonded, that light niche does. But the thing is about it, uh, when you bond that light niche, 
that pipe that's running back to your equipment that the wire runs through, the water runs through it all the way back. So that's low enough deep in the water where it will satisfy the code requirement for water bonding. I have another video on water bonding if you have low voltage lights or you don't have lights at all in the pool. Because you have to bond that water. You have to bond the pool water. Check out my other video on that and it'll tell you how to do that. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that's why you do that. But that conduit, that light goes in, fills completely up with water. And that's why you have to have the conduits on this end raised so the water doesn't run out. And the electrical wire actually runs through it. Okay, we got the bond wire installed and we gotta dig that in underground. But we're gonna, before we put that underground, we're gonna, so I think the landscaper's gonna do it on this one. Uh, we're gonna put that there, wrap this around here. I'm just doing this for, you know, just to get it put up. But we've got, about 10 or 12 feet hanging off right there. It's going down there going to the pool. Some inspectors are going to require that you have a ground rod out here of the equipment. Some of them aren't, especially on a gun out pool because the thing is one great big ground rod that you're tying to. Most inspectors see it that way, some don't. Some We have ran into some that want one ground rod, some want two ground rods, some want three, they want a delta ground on it. Uh, inspectors can get real picky when it comes to pool. Any kind of pools, all of the equipment has to be bonded, you know, right there that's anything to do with operating the pool. It all has to be bonded. And uh, there are your bond wires through there under the forms. And this is where we tied them. Let's see if you can see past my big old shutter. That's where we tied them together on that split bolt. And we've got 18 to 24 inches. This one may need moved out just a little, but we're still out there at it. And we tied to the rebars. And that's what we do is we walk along and look and make sure. And then we move them if we need to. That one right there, beautiful. It'll be right dead on the money. Uh, just have to move this bomb wire out a little right here. And you see how we're doing it now. We are getting 18 to 24 inches. Probably have to move that one out a little bit. And uh, move those in and get that wood out of here. And uh, that's what we do. And where the, where the lights were tied together, that's what Scott's doing right now is pulling it within 18 to 24 inches. All, ever, all around and uh, right here that's where we took that wire that's coming from the light we bonded it right there so that is how you do it that's how you run a bond that bond runs all the way around the pool and that's how you do it uh, just remember to if you've got anything within I would say in my opinion within 10 feet of this pool pool deck of the water can't feed the water. You're going to need to get a uh, bond on it. But really within, I think it's six foot of the water is what the code requires. But I always go tw uh, 10 to 12. Uh, if something's 12, I'll even put it usually. So I'm kind of picky though. Uh, there's nothing that's close on this. And there is no, there is light niches. So we bonded the pool water. There's no handrails, no diving boards, 
no uh, uh, slides, no ladders, nothing metal to bond on the outside of this. So this is what we bond. Anyway, we are done with this. And uh, if you got any questions, just put them down there. Give us a like and subscribe. We sure would appreciate it if you liked the video. Uh, anyway, we help the channel out a lot. And uh, check out some more of our pool videos. We got several of them on here to choose from. Just go to our playlist. It's going to be listed pools. And uh, we're a pool electrician. So y'all have a good day.